Again, good morning everyone. Isang napakagandang araw ang bumungad sa atin ngayon. Dahil sigurado ngayong araw, ay nakapupunutan na naman tayong mga aral na tiyak na makakatulong sa atin in our future career. Di ba, partner? Yes, partner. At excited na ako about the new knowledge that, you, that we will learn today. At masasabi ko na uh, ganun din ang nararamdaman ng lahat ng ating participants na kasama ngayon. Tama ka dyan, partner. And to formalize part our program, may we call on the program Chair of Hospitality Management, Professor Bernadette Lahara, for opening remarks. Let's give her a virtual a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, po, ma'am. So, oh, thank you. So, to our special guests for today, to the NMICE class advisors, Sir Jerry, third year students, and Welcome and thank you for joining this webinar. So, we are all understand the importance of having an event like this as an output from your meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibition class. After passing your NC2 events, I believe all HRM third year students are confident handling different events now. Tamaba. And of course, you won't have this new competency without the guidance, initiative, and effort of our beloved and super sipag na si Sir Jerry. So as we all know, event planning is one of the most stressful jobs in the world and requires specialized skills. It is a rewarding career for a rare breed of hyper-organized, hard-working individuals so I believe nasa kanya yon kay Sir Oliver and of course in your rin mga future event organizer. Further, I believe that participating in this webinar, we are in the right time. So together, let us hear valuable insights on how to become a successful event organizer and tour guide. I am confident that you will find new and fresh ideas on how to start your own events team. And may all of you, my dear students, pick and learn something that we eventually will guide you in the year, in your future and before in hospitality industry, particularly in event management. So to Mr. Oliver, thank you for gracing this culminating virtual activity of our students. So glad, God bless your business. To Sir Jerry and the organizer of this event. Congratulations in advance, and I wish you all a very successful webinar. A simple reminder, my dear students, if you have most of event planning skills, chances are you'll do a great job for being an event planner. If not, you can still become a successful event professional since most of this can be developed through determination and willingness to learn. It is all about continuous learning and improving with each event. Kaya the more event, the merrier, di ba? So mas lalong may enhance yung inyong skills on organizing an event. So muli po ay magandang umaga sa ating lahat at maraming salamat. Thank you very much to our Program Chair, Professor Bernadette Lahara, for her opening remarks. Thank you very much, Ma'am Bernadette. Let me remind everyone, today's event will be divided into three parts. The discussion of our speaker for the first part, for the second part, the mini game. And the third part will be the talk show with our guests together with an open forum. So everyone is allowed to share their learnings about the topic. So what are we waiting for? Tayo na sumilip sa buhay na isang taong magsisilbing inspirasyon sa ating future role in hospitality industry. 
we would appreciate our viewers' patience and understanding if we encounter any technical problems that may occur throughout the webinar. You can help making our future webinar better by answering the evaluation or the post-webinar assessment. The link will be posted at the end of this webinar in the chat box here in Zoom Meet. So, wag na natin patagalin ta partner. At alam kong ready na tayong lahat to listen to the knowledge that we will gain from our guests for today. Di ba, partner? About our naman, partner. So now, let's call on Mr. Limuel Maniolas to introduce our guest speaker for today. So, our guest speaker is born and raised in Magbilao, Quezon. He is a former marketing restaurant at McDonald's Lucena Quezon Avenue. He is also a former operation and marketing manager at Bakuran Chill Out Pagbilao Quezon. And aside from being a marketeer, our speaker is a very talented dancer and choreographer. And he is also a member of First Monsters who win the first place during the Nyugyugan Hip Hop Dance Contest year 2017. He became a senior dancer and choreographer of Pagbilao's New Yugan Festival at the Liwan Fiesta year 2019 and they got the fifth place for this competition. And aside from that, he is also the choreographer of Barangay Daungan Street Dance at Bilao Festival year 2022 and became the champion of this competition. And of course, our speaker is a professional event host, event specialist, and tour guide of his very own events and tours by Oliver. So, so ladies and gentlemen. So now, before we proceed to our discussion, here is a short video of event specialist at events and tour by Oliver. So, we apologize for our technical problem. So, partner, kamusta ka dyan? Maganda ba signal mo dyan? Mukhang ikaw ay nag-umagahan. Nag yes, partner. Sagot, sagot medyo na lang aking umagahan ngayon. Medyo maulan lang ngayon dito sa atin. Ikaw, kamusta ka dyan? Again, partner, hindi kita marinig. Eh. Mukhang, mukhang mahina rin ang connection ng aking partner. Dinig mo na ako, partner? Ah, okay, partner. Yeah. So, kamusta so, naman ako dyan, partner? Ah, ako, partner, okay na okay naman ako dito. At ako'y nagagalak at mabuti naman ang ating kalagayan kahit ang signal natin ay nagkakaroon ng problem. So, kamusta naman ang ating mga participants? Okay daw si Nicole. Eh, hello. Hello everyone. Hello. hello. Nagumagahan na ba kayong lahat? So let's start our discussion. Let's give it up for the star of our show, Mr. Oliver L. Luce. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, po. Hello, hello. Morning, can you hear po. me? Good morning, po, sir. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes, yes, yes po, sir. All right. So 
Okay, so I'm so thrilled and honored to be here. And if you guys are ready to listen, I want you to press the heart button. Press the heart button, please, and or make a thumbs up. Okay, come on. I want you to make a thumbs up if everyone is ready. Okay, that's it. I just want to feel the love and the energy coming from you guys. Okay? Right, okay. So looking at you guys, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, beautiful and handsome faces from uh, SLSU or South Luzon State University main campus at Lakban, Quezon. So, sobrang naalala ko nung time na isadyante pa lang ako when we used to have this uh, kind of setups wherein we were asked by our teachers uh, way back then na kung saan gumagawa kami ng ganitong sessions, uh, presentations, and uh, we invite uh, speakers at, at all. So sobrang nakaka-relate talaga. And just by seeing you guys, how you are uh, executing this whole conference, webinar, guys, malayo ang marating nyo. You guys are doing such an amazing job. Kaya ngayon pa lang, I would like to congratulate all of you. Okay, so isang um, virtual round of applause naman dyan. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so today, bago ang lahat, I want of course to introduce myself again. I'm Oliver Luce, Chief Event Officer of Events and Tours by Oliver. I'm a wedding and event specialist, and also I am a freelance host, a local tour guide, and at the same time, a choreographer. Diba? Ang daming ganap sa buhay. So, ayun, ito, pagod. <laughs> okay, so mukhang pagod na ba? <laughs> Kaya yan, laban lang para sa ikamili niya. So, uh, just a brief background sa aking mga naging kaganapan on my uh, 30 years of existence dito sa mundo. Well, I started hosting when I was on my high school days. Yung tipong ako yung nag-handle, ako yung nag-host ng mga, mga school program and activities. Kumbaga, let's say I'm the public uh, speaker nung time namin nung high school. And if ever meron dito sa ating mga aspiring uh, hospitality management uh, students, uh, uh, third year, right? Uh, third year kayo? Third year? Yes, po, yes. sir. And alam ko, most of you guys, uh, meron dito na katulad ko din, yung parang uh, kayo yung nag-organize, for example, meron kayong uh, elementary or high school get, uh, get mini get-together or reunion. Uh, naiisip niyo yun, yung parang uh, dun pa lang, malaki na yung chance nyo, yung ginagawa nyo na yun, hindi yung may isip, pwede pala yung maging profession. So, come to think of it. So, it's uh, funny to think na dati, ganun lang yung ginagawa ako. Kasi ako yung organizer nung batch namin, nung high school. Up, up to now. So, ilang years na kami graduate. So, parang uh, lahat ng gatherings namin. So, nakikita-kita kami every uh, twice a year. Uh, vacation, summer vacation, or... Uh, holiday season, ako yung nag-organize. So, sa mga uh, student natin na nakikinig ngayon, so parang uh, expect nyo na sa sarili nyo. If ever ganun kayo, don't you worry. May pagkakalagyan kayo. So, uh, well, back then, uh, aside from uh, hosting, yan, nag-start nga nung high school, uh, syempre, sanay na ako sa crowd. So, um, yung work under pressure and the name. Pero uh, from school activities uh, and programs, years past, uh, pumasok ako sa corporate events. So, syempre, nag-host na ako before ng mga school programs and activities. 
na dumaan yung mga taon, bakit hindi ko itry na pumasok sa corporate events. So, meron mga weddings, may mga nag-offer na sa akin ng mga dibu, 18th birthday, or any kind of uh, occasion. Let's say, yung mga barangay, sa barangay fiesta. Yeah. So, parang laman ako doon, yung mga beauty pageants, yung mga Miss Gay na yan, dance contest, singing contest sa barangay namin. So, I think, yan din yung mga isa sa mga naging uh, uh, training ground ko kung nasaan ako ngayon. So, sa mga student natin ngayon nakikinig, ipusyo na yan kasi malay nyo. In the near future, after three, five years, maging uh, professional na rin kayo in the events industry. Okay, so siyempre, uh, to make the story short, uh, bago man mag-pandemic, yung hosting team ko in the events industry steady, stable naman siya. So nakikipagsabayan din sa mga sa mga veteranong hosts. And uh and uh just a quick trivia na kasama ko na si Sir Jerry. So si Sir Jerry yung yung event planner nung event before, uh ako naman yung event host. Yeah. <laughs> So naka-work ko na si Sir Jerry as uh, event planner, si Sir Jerry. So yun, uh, nag-pandemic, alam naman natin talaga bagsak lahat ng uh, ekonomiya, sa lahat ng industry, lalong-lalo na sa events. So kami yung pinaka-list na siguro, I must say, based on our personal experience, na hindi na priority, na prioritize ng government na kung saan zero events bawal mag-events uh, during pandemic so cancel events lahat as in talaga nang lumuka, lumuka me so uh, ginawa ko nung medyo okay okay na uh, nagputa pa ko ng maliit na business so i decided to build uh, or to create a create a small business Ito na yung tours na tinatawag kasi meron uh, kaming uh, family resort dito sa Pagbilao and then uh, malapit siya sa dagat. So knowing Pagbilao naman, so sino dito yung mga ano? Sino dito yung mga nakapunta na dito sa Pagbilao? Meron ba? Can I hear yes if ever? Meron? Nakapunta na sa Pagbilao? Wala? Ayun, meron. Ayan. So, knowing Pagbilaw, Pagbilaw naman talaga isa sa mga pinakamaraming tourist destination, tourist spots dito po sa probinsya ng Quezon. And uh, by that time, yan, nag-organize ako ng mga tour packages kung saan most of our guests are from Manila, uh, Rizal, uh, ano pa ba? Laguna, kung saan walang beaches or kakunti yung mga beaches. So, Pagbilaw lang yung uh, medyo maluag yung uh, restrictions before. So, ina-allowed namin yung mga bisita from uh, different places. So, yun, uh, medyo uh, nag-boom siya yung, sir, yung tour, tour packages na ginawa ko before. And uh, knowing uh, tour naman, it's a uh, seasonal. So, since na lang siya. And uh, that's why I decided to ex- expand my uh, services in the events industry. So aside from hosting, yun yung medyo naging okay-okay na. Medyo nakaka-move on na tayo sa pandemic. May mga events na inallowed na yung bilang ng guest uh, from 50 to 100 to 200 na ngayon okay na. So... I expanded my services in the events industry. Aside from hosting, I started uh, professionally as an event manager and a uh, wedding planner. So, uh, last uh, last year, December 2021 to be exact. So technically, we are just a year, one year and one month old. So yun yun uh, ganun pa lang kami kabata. <laughs> so we are just a one year and one month old as a 
events team. So I'm the head. I'm the I'm the uh, chief uh, event officer of events and tours by Oliver. So as what as what I've said earlier, high school palang nakikitaan ko na ng uh, potential yung sarili ko na pumasok into uh, events industry. Kaya naman, kung meron sa inyo, sabi ko nga kanina, kung meron sa inyong mga mag-organize, yan, uh, sanay sa public speaking, so, yun na, pwede niyo yung gawing profession. Just like me. Kasi to tell you honestly, I'm an undergraduate. Undergraduate ako. And hindi ko ini-encourage lahat na hindi magtapos. Kasi yun din yung sa mga regret ko na hindi ko mat- natapos yung aking studies. But eto na yung reality. So ano yung gagawin ko? Well, find ways. So since meron naman ako means uh, to survive sa buhay na tinatahak natin. So I have a talent, a skill. public speaker ako. So, yun. Naisipan ko lang enhance yung skills ko into uh, event industry. So, ganun. Uh, for just like that, um, with that, I encourage everyone to please, please, ayan, so please, uh, parang napagap ang, ati, ang aking ano, pag uh, encourage na mag follow ayan mag like ng aming uh, social media account again events and tours by Oliver because i love and uh, have this passion to encourage people to motivate them and tell them na kung kaya ko kaya niyo rin right yeah so again To all our students, aspiring professionals, that and please, please step out on your comfort zone and uh, maximize your uh, fullest potentials and unleash your skills, uh, whether in uh, freelancing or putting up or doing a business. Okay? So, right. So, before we tackle our... Uh, discussion. So, may pinili akong uh, topic para sa inyo. So, it's all about events. So, how to becoming uh, an event planner or event manager. So, bago tayo dumapag doon, let's have first an icebreaker. So, kung nakikinig yung iba, yan. So, can, can you unmute your microphone and say uh, uh, yes? So, learning guys, learning. Yes. 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 All right. So I love the energy. So now let's do the icebreaker. Okay. So para naman medyo ganang-ganahan tayo. So just what like I uh, always did sa events ko while hosting. Yeah. So may, may mga icebreaker tayo para naman uh, hindi mainip yung ating mga manonood. So for our icebreaker, Question and answer lang to if ever nakikinig nga ba talaga kayo sa mga nasambit or mga nakwento ko kanina. Okay. So, question and answer for sure na. So, please, please type at the chat box your answer. Kung sino man ang unang mga kasagot nun, will automatically receive a GCash worth of 50 pesos. Okay ba yun? <laughs> Oh, sayang yun ah, pang, ano, pang loading yun, pang Go50 sa mga Globe users. Okay, so here it is. Our first question para sa ating icebreaker. Okay, so first question po namin. Okay, listen. Kailan po nag-start professionally ang events and tours by Oliver? Okay, so just a month and year again kailan kami nag-start as a wedding planner and uh, event manager go so sino na meron na anong month and year all right wow and daming sumagot and uh syempre sanay na sanay ito sa mga keyboard warrior natin 
mahilig ata to mag-reply sa mga comments, sa mga shared posts. So, yun. Congratulations. Si Ma'am Mendoza. Miss Mendoza. Ayan. So, what's uh, what's your first name? Miss Mendoza? Christine Pop. Ma'am Christine Mendoza, congratulations because your answer in December 2021 is correct. So kindly type in your Gcash number at our chat box, okay? Para hindi ka malintan. So right after this webinar, uh, I will send you right away, okay? All right. So meron pang mga icebreaker, Mama. Yeah, okay. Don't you worry. So uh, to the rest of our students, uh, malami pa kayong chances of winning. Maya maya lama. Okay, so let's start with our discussion. So I will have to share my screen with you. Okay. And also to, to tell you frankly, yan, <clears throat> I would like to share this because uh, I'm an event host for almost uh, a decade na, 10 years. So, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo sa uh, mga aspiring uh, professionals natin. Alam ko marami sa inyo, uh, tinatahak na rin yung hosting, right? Merong mga iba sa inyo, like our hosts for uh, today's sa, today's webinar. So, ako, admitted ako sa sarili ko, hindi ako ganun kagaling. Siguro, na-enhance ko lang yung skills ko sa mga events na dumaan, sa mga events na handle ko. Honestly, to tell you honestly, hindi ako fluent mag-English. Kung merong English literate dyan, siguro kanina pa ako kinokorek sa mga grammar ko. <laughs> Medyo try and hard din kasi ako. Kasi yun talaga sinasabi ko sa mga, sa mga client ko. So, nakapag-deliver ako ng ayos ng English, pero uh, hindi ako ganun ka-fluent. Sinasabi ko na agad dyan. Pero, sabi nga, fake it till you make it. Yan. So, kumukuha ako ng mga spills, nanonood ako sa YouTube. Yan. Minimemorize ko hanggang dumating yung point na style. Spills ko na siya. Inangkin ko na. <laughs> yun yan. Yun yung, ano, yung way ko. Alright. So, now, so, our guest. Yan. So, here is our topic for today's webinar. So, nag-focus na lang ako sa events management, setting, event planning. Okay. Here it is. Okay. So, alam ko yung iba dito siguro aware na or or let's say uh, napag-aralan nyo na to. I'm not sure. Pero yung iba siguro yung mga nag events na Meron na ba ditong uh, sumasideline or nag-organize na ng events? Meron na? Yung iba hindi magkasabi kasi baka mamaya tanong ko eh. <laughs> Okay. Siguro meron na rin yung iba dito. Yung mga... Kasi I have a staff. Meron ako mga events coordinator na all of them are still students. Some are senior high schools. Yung iba college students na uh, good for them, lalo na meron akong mga, mga coordinators na uh, graduating uh, tourism students, yan kagaya nyo din, mga hospitality man management students, na yung iba kasi medyo mahiyay. So, kulang sila sa public speaking. So, thankful sila na naging part sila na team kasi na-enhance pa lalo o na-enhance nila yung kanilang public speaking kasi yung iba talaga nahihiyang kumausap ng mga, mga clients and guests at the same time mga kanilang business kayo sa mismo event. Okay, so now here, our topic how to organize an event. So this is uh, just basic. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, basic lang po ito. Ano? So, number one, know and have these traits of an event manager. So, meron tayong apat. 
First, be driven toward, toward success. Next, patience. Followed by um, always be positive. And lastly, have skill and passion on what you do. So let's start with be driven toward success. Okay. So that is the main goal. Okay. The event becomes successful. That is your validation that you are an effective event manager. Perfection. Siguro, hindi attainable yun. Yung perfection, di ba? No one's perfect. Ika nga. Hindi attainable yun. Pero believe me, kahit gaano pa yan kaplanado, as it is, meron kayong mga, uh, let's say, yung event, was already or planned already. Mayroon pa rin darating sa point na may mga circumstances na may problema na darating. So, anong gagawin natin? So, you need to be driven toward success. So, ang uh, perfection, wag natin i-attain, mas okay kung yung uh, i-aim natin is yung success ng event. Next is patience. Yan. Pasensya. So, ako as an uh, event uh, manager, event planner, so you need to have a long, long, long patience. Importante yan. Because you are, you'll be, you'll be dealing with different kinds of, of uh, clients, guests, as well as your co-suppliers. So, mahabang pasensya. Kung hindi nyo alam yung tinapay na pasensya, <laughs> nakahiya ba hindi nyo alam sa mga Gen Z natin? Uh, sa bakery may pasensya. So, you need to eat more of that. <laughs> yung pasensya tinatawag. Kasi, uh, if you don't have... Uh, Patient. So, kung impatient ka, it will affect lahat. So, lahat ng mga pilano nyo, if ever meron kang uh, uh, circumstances or pangyayari na ma-disappoint ka, and then yung pasensya mo hanggang doon na lang, well, that's it. Hanggang doon ka na lang. So you need to have a long, long, long patience, okay? And also, you need to always be positive, okay? Always, always be positive that everything will go well, right? Okay, so don't be a nega, guys. Don't be a nega. So if there are circumstances, for example, for example, nangkaroon ng problema. So what's the next step? So you need to think agad, agad, karakara. So what's the next step? Laging ganun. So you need to have uh, options. You need to be a problem solver. Okay. So gawin natin yung, yung negative uh, vibe into a positive one. Okay. And lastly, have skill and passion in uh, what you do. Okay. You have skill and passion on what you do. So yes, to tell you honestly, I'm not going to sugarcoat that being an event manager is easy. Okay. It's not. But this job is something that you really cherish. Okay. And it's something that is very, very fulfilling. Ganun ang pagiging event manager. Okay. So, moving on. What are the skills needed? Wow. Looking at our slides. Nakaka-overwhelm kasi madami, di ba? Baka kayong pala mag-burden kayo. 
Ang dami, baka yung iba mag-back out na. <laughs> Ang dami, so people management, time and, and organization management, resourceful, effective listening, and communication skills, flexible and adaptable to change, problem solver, can work under pressure, observant, and keen to details, knowledgeable in marketing, creative and innovative, and tech savvy. So, yan yung mga kailangang skills daw to becoming an effective event manager. So, people management. So, you'll be dealing, as what I've said earlier, you'll be dealing, you'll be meeting different kind of uh, client with different walk of life. So, different kind of guests, different kind of uh, co-suppliers. So, time and organization management. So for this one, from the word itself, organizational management. So organizing, right? So you need uh, to do it as a habit, as your own habit. Para at least madala mo ito sa events. So, parang uh, tulong mo na rin ito sa sarili mo. So, again, time management. Yan. So, applicable to in everyday living. So, again, never, never be late, guys. Mahalaga to. Time is precious. So, ito nga yung mga natutunan ko din way back on my previous uh, job na sabi niya, when you are on time, it's considered late. When you are late, when you are late, okay, let's uh, do it again. When you are on time, it's considered late. And if you are early, it's considered on time. And when you are late, it's unforgivable. Laging tataan din yan. Kasi, makasalimuha ka ng iba't ibang klase ng tao. So, yung mga yan, may mga kanya-kanyang pinagkakaabalahan kung saan their time is very precious. If ever meron kang uh, appointment sa kanila, please, please, just be on time or early sa pinangako ang oras. Okay? Alright. Resourceful. Ayan. So, you need to do a research. ayon ayon natin yung sasabihin, hindi ko alam. Guys, 2023 na. <laughs> 2023 na. So, andyan na. Nasa phone muna lahat ng sagot. One click away lang. Andyan ang Google o Facebook. So, you need to be resourceful. Ano pa? So, you need to have an idea kung ano yung hot, kung ano yung trending, and uh, you need to have you need to target a specific audience. Okay? So, next, effective listening and uh, communication skills. So, ito nabangit ko na rin kanina. Okay? Importante lahat ng details, small details. So, sa lahat ng mga pinag-uusapan nyo. Okay? So, focus. Focus. Lahat ng mga uh, pinag-uusapan nyo. So, advantage na siguro. Marami ba ditong marites? <laughs> Because that is an advantage. Pero dapat walang kulang, walang sobra, sakto lang. Okay. Because that will affect the event itself. Okay. All right. Flexible and adaptable to change. Ayan. So, hindi pwedeng uh, nakatayo ka lang, wala kang gagawin if ever there are changes on the spot. Sabi nga nila, the show must go on. Okay, hindi pwedeng sasandal ka sa pader, mag-walling ka na lang. <laughs> and then, wala, yun na. Kasi hindi nasunod yung, yung plan. So, dapat maging flexible ka. Okay, so you need to have an option kasi kailangan talaga dapat yan. Option, option, option. So, problem solver. Ayan. So, connected siya sa adaptable to change. 
So you need to be a problem solver. So if ever merong circumstances, mga pangyayari na, for example, for example, sa isang event, sa isang wedding event. So hindi nakarating si uh, makeup artist. So ang call time for AM. So 3.30 wala pa siya. So anong gagawin mo as an event planner, event manager? So again, you need to be a problem solver. Okay, so pwede kang tumawag, mayroon ka dapat mga reliable call suppliers na kung saan mga one call away lang. So tawagan nyo, pwede ka pa dito kasi ganito, ganyan, nagkaproblema yung at kausap na, na hair and makeup. So ganyan dapat. So mabilis ka dapat uh, mag-isip. So you need uh, to solve the problem right away na kung saan hindi ma-stress yung ating mga client. Okay? Ikaw yung ma-stress. <laughs> okay. So, next can work under pressure. Yan. So, yan. Ako yung mga events ko before. Kung, nung ako yung mga host pa lang. Ang dami mga circumstances, mga pangyayari din na di ko na-expect. For example, uh, may mga client ako na may mga relatives sila na For example, sa isang wedding event ulit na from ceremony sa church, ayan, pupunta ng reception kasi uso ngayon yung mga post-nap or focus tinatawag. So, before magkaroon ng reception program, so, magkakaroon muna ng, I think, one to one and a half hour na palugit bago mag-start yung program. So, yung mga bisita na andun na sa event mismo. So, may mga kamag-anak dyan na lalapit sa'yo, ba't hindi pa nagkakainan? Ba't hindi pa nag-start yung program? Yan, mga ganyan. So, ano nga gawin mo? So, para maiwasan yun, onset pa lang ng meeting nyo with a client. Yan, inform nyo agad sila. So, ito po yung mga yari, ito yung magiging time-time. So, alamin nyo. So, kasabi nyo si client, pwede po ba kayong mga relatives na ganito na ganyan? So, para maiwasan po natin. Okay, so next, observant and keen to detail. So, so just what I've said earlier, ayan. So, small details is also a details. Okay, important yan. Knowledgeable in uh, marketing. So, ayan, knowledgeable in marketing. So, kanina, so siguro narinig nyo. So, I'm a former restaurant marketing representative at McDonald's Quezon Avenue branch sa Lucena City. So, for five years yun. So, uh, dami kong mga learnings sa McDonald's. Sobrang gandang uh, training ground. Kasi standard talaga. International standard ang McDonald's when it comes to every aspect sa uh, industry nila. So, yan. As a uh, restaurant uh, marketing representative, kami yung kami yung naka-take charge kung paano namin matutulungan yung store para magkaroon pa kami ng mga benta outside. Yan. So, just a quick uh, FYI lang din. So, kaya ako pumasok ng uh, SLSU and took up uh, marketing management kasi second uh, course ko na yon na undergrad din. <laughs> And then, uh, nag-work muna ako sa McDonald's for five years as a restaurant marketing uh, representative. After noon, pumasok ako na SLSU as a marketing student. Yan. And encourage lang ako nung, nung, nung high school friend ko na currently uh, teaching psychology dyan sa SLSU main. If ever familiar kayo kay Sir Gino Cabrera. Yan. Best friend ko yan. So, siya yung encourage sa akin na pumasok ulit kasi magkakaroon ng uh, senior high. So, para maiba yung curriculum. So, ganun. Para lang na-encourage lang niya ako. So, yun. To make, this, uh, to make the long story short, so, undergrad ulit, hindi din kinayanan. So, marami rin mga reasons why. So, pero andito tayo ngayon. Patuloy na nakipaglaban sa buhay. Okay. So, next stop. Ayan. Again, knowledgeable in marketing. So, nakita ko naman yung inyong mga ginawang posters uh, para sa ating uh, webinar today. So, good job for that. 
So, yun, alam niyo dapat na uh, paano kayo mag-market. So, maraming mga ways on how to market a specific type of event. So, ngayon, nag-focus tayo on social media kasi halos lahat ng tao na, lahat ng tao, meron ng uh, social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any kind of social uh, uh, platform, social media platform. Kaya naman sa Facebook, Uh, magkakaroon kayo ng uh, targeted uh, audience ninyo. Okay? So, for us, sa events and tours, ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yung official Facebook page namin, ayan. So, meron kaming official Facebook page. Doon namin yung market yung aming uh, events business. No? Saan, uh, nag-boost kami ng post. Yan, yeah, yung aming uh, sekreto din para para ma-reach out yung mga yung mga ibang mga future clients namin na mag-book sa amin. So, ganun yung ginagawa namin. So, yun din yung isa sa mga klase ng marketing strategy na pwede natin gawin online. Okay? Siyempre, pag uh, na-reach out kayo ng mga client na hindi nyo kilala sa page lang nag-message, So, anong ba gagawin nila? Hindi naman agad-agad mag-book. So, syempre, makikita nila yung mga reviews. Yan. So, pinapakalagaan namin yun, mga reviews. Client feedbacks ang tawag doon. So, ano yung mga recommendation nila? Kung gaano sila naging satisfied doon sa naging previous event namin sa kanila. So, that's it. So, creative uh, and uh, innovative. Okay. So, syempre, Sino nga ba namang uh, uh, makakapag-isip na ngayon, webinar tayo. Kasi before, di ba, face-to-face ang mga kaitong klase ng mga seminars, right? So, uh, adaptive to change na din to kasi uh, we need to innovate. So, kailangan nating makipagsabayan sa iba. Next and last is uh, Tech Savvy. Yeah, so sa Tech Savvy. So sa Tech Savvy, syempre, dito din yung uh, connected sa creative and innovative. So meron tayo mga gadgets na kung saan uh, we need to be a Tech Savvy. So kakaya naman nangyayari kanina. So uh, nagkakaroon ng mga technical difficulties. So Anong dapat natin gawin? So, ahead of time, ayan. So, nagkaroon lang tayo ng uh, short notice. Ayan. So, kailangan uh, lagi natin din na, na double check lahat ng mga materials na gagamitin natin sa so, audio and sa ating uh, sa visuals natin sa camera and all. Okay? Okay. So, next up. Ayan. Okay. So, for our next Next topic is uh, you need, you are a leader. So, act one. So, ito, guys, to all our aspiring professionals, alam ko, elementary, elementary pa lang, tinutulo na to, ano, yung mga leadership, leadership seminar po natin. Sa events industry, as an uh, events manager, same lang din po yun. Ano po? So, as a leader, of course, you are the event uh events manager, so sa iyo susunod lahat. Okay? So, if ever may client ka, yung client ay uh, uh, magtitiwala lang sa iyo. Sa lahat-lahat. Just for example, sa bahay. Sa bahay nyo. So, di ba pag merong mga bisitang dadating, so, anong gagawin natin? So, ahead of time, naglilinis tayo, napapagkanta tayo ng mga, ng mga cortina and everything pinagahandaan natin. So, ganun din sa events industry. Okay, so para mangyayari, we are the representative on behalf of the client. Kasi halimbawa, gusto lang ni client, ikaw lang yung kakasapin niya. So parang you are the event manager. So yung usap, it's been the client, between the client and you. So ganun lang siya. Okay, so again, um, sa leadership, importante yan. 
you need to act one. So next, identify, identify what the conference, what type of a conference and uh, or event you will organize. Tama ba? Tama, tama, tama. Tama yung nasa screen, identify what type of conference or event you will organize. Okay, so this one, okay. So bago ko i-discuss to, alam ko, nakapag-discussion uh, na kayo siguro when it comes to conferences. Thumbs up if yes. Okay. Alright. So kung nakapag-lecture uh, na kayo about conferences, this is my second uh, question. Icebreaker ali tayo. So icebreaker guys, if ever meron kayong uh, natutunan or natandaan sa inyong conference class. Of course, siguro uh, by Sir uh, Jerry. Okay, so if you guys are ready for our next question, ito na siya. For 50 peso Gcash load. Okay. <laughs> Yung iba kinakabahan na. <laughs> okay. For our second question. Ito na siya. Name or magbigay. Name three types of conference. Go. Three types of conference. Uh, type. 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 Ah, meron na agad. Ang galing, ang galing ha. Ah. Ang bilis. Uh, I need three. Three types of uh, conference. Okay. Meron ba? Three types of conference. Okay. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, time is up. <laughs> okay, so better do some good. Yeah. Okay, so iba kulang. Okay, so to tell you honestly, I'm not pretty sure if I will consider your answers. Yung business, educational, and news. Okay, so if ever you tackled that already to Sir Jerry, uh, tayo ng, I would like to ask permission or or, or heads up by Sir Jerry, if ever, yan yung tatlo. Pero, on my uh, my answer for that specific question, uh, the three types of uh, conference are symposium, workshop, and seminar. <laughs> Tandaan nyo, symposium, workshop, and seminar. Ayan. Andiyan, andiyan ba si Sir Jerry pa? Andiyan pa si Sir Jerry? Sir Jerry is still with us? Hindi ko sure, Sir Jerry, ha, if ever... I'm here. Uh, tama ba, Sir, yung sagot din nila? Business, news, and uh, uh, educational? Uh, depende kasi sa reference. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero yeah, yes, I will consider that. Pero... Uh, meron din tayo yung... Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, ang uh, unang nakasagot ng tama ay Miss Casey Fortes. Ayan. Congratulations. You're our second lucky winner ng ating 50 peso worth of cash load. So, type mo lang yung number ko dyan. We'll send it right away. Okay? 
All right, so let's continue our topic. So next. Okay, plan your budget. So yan, if ever nagkaroon na, alam nyo na yung uh, skills, traits, and of course, but identify nyo na kung anong klase ng conference or event man ito. So you need to plan your budget. Siyempre, hindi kikilo sa lahat pag walang budget, guys. So yung budget, yan yung pinaka-importante. Okay, so mahirap pag-ayos ng event or or conference if hindi mo alam if how much ka ba ang budget ng client. Okay, so this will be your uh, basis. This will be your basis if you'll go high-end, mid-range, or low-range. So depende sa klase ng client or klase ng bisita or type of event ito. Okay? Nakadepende yun. So, madedetermine mo dito kung if ever uh, high-end siya, so, you need to contact agad lahat ng mga suppliers for the specific uh, types or kind of conference or event. So, contact mo lahat ng suppliers na needed. So, uh, contact mo si uh, si venues, si uh, catering, si stylist, uh, lights and sounds, and all. Para ma-determine mo kung pasok nga ba sa budget, allotted budget, yung mga mapipili mong call suppliers. Okay? All right. So next up, we have no your workforce, workforce and uh, delegate task. Okay. For this one, okay. So again, Remember what I told you earlier, you need to act one, okay? So being an effective leader is knowing how to delegate tasks, okay? So sa lahat ng mga event uh, manager po natin, meron sila mga subordinates. So merong mga, mga staffs, coordinators na do duty on that specific kind of event. So, hindi naman to one-man show, di ba? So, you need, you'll be needing uh, manpower. So, you need to know how to delegate tasks. So, ito ba ay magiging uh, event manager? Ikaw ba ay magiging events host? Ikaw ba ay magiging uh, program manager? Or sound tech? So, lahat yan kailangan uh, ma-delegate mo appropriately. Next, plan the time and date. So, meron na kayong budget. So, syempre, alamin natin kung, kung uh, anong oras and saan ba or kailan ba ang inyong uh, event or conference, okay? So, kailangan yan. So, para at least, if ever meron na kayong exact date, mabibigay nyo na sa mga co-suppliers nyo. Kasi, for sure, once na magbubuk kayo ng mga co-suppliers nyo, ang lagi nilang tinatanong, tinatanong nila, agad-agad, kalakaraka, is date, time. That is important. Kasi, syempre, mabubuk nyo na dapat sila ahead of time kasi knowing na marami pa rin mga ibang suppliers or event manager na katulad mo na magbubuk sa kanila in the near future. Okay? Next, create your timeline and uh, follow timeline. So for this part, okay, uh, may I ask, uh, meron ka ba tayong time? Okay pa naman. May time pa naman, ano? Yes po, sir. Okay. So, yeah. Create your timeline. So, we have a typographical error here. So, create your timeline and follow deadline. So, deadline yan. Create your timeline and follow deadline. So, yan. Gagawa ka ng timeline. So, kailan ba yung, for example, for a wedding event, 
So, magkakaroon ka ng timeline kung kailan ba magkakaroon ng uh, prenup photoshoot, yung ating uh, pre-wedding photoshoot. So, timeline kung mga kailan magkakaroon ng uh, distribution or uh, segregation of uh, uh, invitations. Kung kailan nila ibibigay, distribution of uh, invitations. So, kailangan may, may deadline din yan. So, hindi kailangan dapat uh, magpaka-safe tayo if ever um, nagbigay lang ng specific date you need to have a deadline para at least uh, alam mo kung ano, yung, kung ano na yung mga na-accomplish mo na tasks. Okay? Next, identify the guests. So, yan. So, importante to. So, as an event host, lagi ko itong uh, kinoconsider. So, lagi ako nagtatanong sa client ko on on set of uh, inquiry or pag nag meeting na kami, sa planning. So, ano po bang klase ng guests meron po kayo? So, meron po ba kayo mga high-end or high-profile uh, personalities? Uh, ito po ba yung mga mid-class lang or mga low-class lang? Kasi doon nakadepende yung gagawin mong atake, yung mga gagawin mong mga uh, pick-up lines, mga jokes, if ever high-end ba to? So, you need to be strict English, mag eop ka ba? Or, yun, nakadepende yun sa, sa uh, type of guest na kung saan uh, itatanong mo muna sa client at syempre kung ano yung uh, uh, magiging suggestions nila sa inyo kung paano mo ma, kung paano mo execute yung pag-handle ng uh, guests for that specific type or kind of guests. And also, as an event uh, manager, yeah, so, ma-determine mo din siya kung paano makipag-usap sa mga guests. Okay? So, to identify guests, yes, pag sa reception na or sa mga preparation or sa mga event venues, so, pagkakausapin mo siya, again, identify the guests kasi pag uh, uh, kinakausap mo na siya doon mo malalaman or or ma-identify if ever tama ba yung gagamitin ko uh, uh, words para dun sa specific uh, type of guest na yun para maging aware din ikaw at the same time yung mga kasamahan mo para wala maging problema when it comes to uh, miscommunication. Next is create a theme and motif. Yeah, so unti-unti nang uh, nakakompleto ang ating uh, pag-organize ng specific event. So create a theme or motif. So meron na kayong date. So meron na kayong type of guest. So you need to create a theme and motif. So ito ba ay uh, mga let's say uh, birthdays yan so, so mga birthdays normally mga kids party so ngayon may marami ng mga iba't ibang klasing theme na naglalabas lumalabas and then for uh, wedding yan so meron tayo mga rustic theme and then sa motif yung motif it's uh a color, a shade or color. Okay? So, baka yung iba kasi nag- nalilito sa theme and motive. Kala nung, nung iba, iisa lang. So, theme yung specific uh, uh, concept of the event. And yung motive, yun yung color or shade na kailangan sundin. Next is uh, know your platform or venue. So, ito na yun. So, kailangan malaman nyo kung ano nga pang klase ng, ng uh, reception hall or events place ang kukunin nyo. Okay? So, syempre, you need to consider first kung gaano kadami yung guests ng uh, uh, event mo. So, if ever a uh, hundred, two hundred, so you need to to have a more spacious Uh, type of venues. 
So, kailangan mo din consider if ever yung client mo, for example, for a wedding, is gusto outdoor. So, sa ceremony, outdoor yan. So, hanap ka ng outdoor venues, most especially gusto nila garden style. Yan. So, dapat as an event planner. So, meron ka ng mga mga ideas. So, meron ka ng mga contacts. So, meron ka ng mga uh, uh, specific uh, events place on your mind or on your list na kung saan pwede ka nang mag-suggest right away sa iyong uh, client kung ano mga bang mga type of event venues ang pwede mo uh, i-consider ng ating client. Okay. Next up is this. Book your trust Trusted co-suppliers. Yeah, important ito, guys. Okay. As an event uh, event manager, so marami tayong mga co-suppliers na makakasalamuha on your journey. So, kung magkisimula ka pa lang, kung hindi mo alam, kung wala ka pang idea, so this is your first event. So, yan. So, magkakaroon ka ng uh, profile checking. So, syempre, once na magbubuka ng mga co-suppliers mo, and if ever na hindi ka familiar sa kanila, you need to double check or uh, profile check. So, tulad ng binakit ko kanina sa aming Facebook page, of course, we have our review section kung saan do natin determine if ever recommendable nga ba itong supplier na to. And at the same time, you need to uh, pwede kayong mag-reach out dun sa mga previous clients nila kung uh, ano nga ba yung naging performance nila o yung naging services nila dun sa naging previous events nila. So wala namang masama dun para at least sa huli uh, hindi sa sakit ang ulo po natin. Okay? So important ito. So you need to book Uh, trusted co-suppliers para at the end of the day na sabi mo yung event mo is successful. Right? Okay. So for this part sa mga co-suppliers natin once if ever or if ever po magkaroon tayo ng problema sa ibang mga suppliers po natin ikaw po ang uh, sasakit ang ulo kasi yung yung sisi so you are responsible for that kind or for that specific kind or for that instance na nagkaroon ng problema so ikaw na front kasi ikaw lang yung kausap ng client because you are the event manager so you need you need to fix that right away bago pa malaman ng client mo okay so para maiwasan, again, please, please uh, do a profile checking for your uh, co-suppliers. Then line up your speakers. Yeah, just for uh, conferences or seminars. Yeah, and so you need to uh, to get uh, effective speakers. Yung sa tingin niyo talaga mapupulutan nyo ng aral. For this kind of uh, webinar, yan. So, just like this, learning guys, learning, thumbs up po. <laughs> And, unmute po please, I, I wanna hear yes. Learning ba? Learning? Yes, yes po, sir. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, good to hear that. Okay. Next up, this one is to promote your event. So, how to promote your event? Katulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, yung pagiging uh, uh, marketing or magaling sa, pag sa, magaling sa marketing. Yan. Isa rin sa mga magandang factor para ma-promote nyo ng tama yung event niya. So, ano nga ba yung mga kailangan So, 
yung mga needs or materials needed on how to promote your event. And since, sabi ko kanina, ngayon, nakafocus na tao sa social media. So, more on uh, online promotion ang nangyayari. Okay? So, lalo na. For example, sa wedding. So, lagi kong na na experience na yung hard copy na invitation, hindi na masyadong uso yan. So, uso na ngayon yung mga e-invites. So, ito na yung mga uh, so, uh, mga soft copy or parang let's say uh, application siya or invitation na kung saan uh, one click away lang siya na if ever masadon ka ng RSVP yan. So, masasend mo na agad yung iyong uh, RSB is a, a client if ever you are invited for that specific kind of event. So, ngayon uso na yan, mga e-invites. Okay. And of course, finalize the timeline, program, and activities at the day of the event. So, now, yan. Okay na to. Okay na lahat-lahat. So, you need to finalize. So, para at least wala kang ma-miss na ibang details you need to double check you need to uh, double check if ever ano ba yung mga need pa ano pa yung mga yung mga dapat gawin if ever maiwasan po natin yung mga dapat iwasan for that kind of specific event so you need to to organize lahat-lahat timeline program and activities on that specific type of event and uh, I think uh, this is the last I'm pretty sure of this <laughs> okay so lastly we have to prepare for plan B and plan C so yan okay na tayo sa lahat na finalize na so hindi naman pwede yun lang so you need to prepare for plan B or plan C okay important thing important po ito. So, once na plan A, hindi siya umayon. So, may nangyari na hindi inaasahan. Well, we'll go for plan B or plan C. Okay? Expect the unexpected. So, if you are an event manager, not at all plans are 100% accurate or it will be executed as it is. But, of course, planning, importante pa din yan. It makes the event easier. It prevents us from, it prevents, uh, it, it prevents us from uh, having a distractions or any unexpected things to happen for that specific kind of event. If, again, if plan A didn't work, go to plan B or C. So that's it, guys. Whew. Okay, so that's all for my discussion. So again, guys, learning. Unmute your microphones, please. <laughs> yes, Paul. 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 <laughs> All right, so always remember this. It's all our aspiring professionals, okay? So perfection is not attainable. But if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Napakagandang quote nito from Vince Lombardi. Lombardi. Okay, so once again, this has been uh, Oliver Luce an event planner, event specialist, and the chief event officer of events and tours by Oliver. Okay? Sana nag-enjoy kayo at meron kayong uh, na-uwing uh, knowledge from me. Thank you very much. We have our guest speaker, Mr. Oliver L. Luz, sa kanyang mga pinakaking karanasan sa atin. Yan. Ang isang napakagandang informa 
infor informative na discussion na ating narinig mula kay Sir Oliver. Kung kaya tunay na napakagandang opportunity ang hatid sa ang hatid na pagtahak natin sa hospitality industry. Hindi lamang dahil nakakatulong ito upang mapasaya ang ating buhay, but course nakakatulong din ito upang ibahagi natin ang ating sayang nararamdaman at kaalaman sa ibang tao. Bukod pa rito ay masasabi natin hindi madali ang pagiging event coordinator host and fair guy dahil may mga bagay na susubok at tata, susubok at sa tata, susubok sa tatag ng lo, ng loob upang maipagpatuloy ang mga bagay na ito at bilang estudyante niyo sir ay bilang estudyante niyo ay bilang estudyante na nangangarap ay saludo po ako at humahanga po ako sa inyong determinasyon na meron kayo and we're so happy sir dahil you gives us a tips sa paghahandle ng event at kung paano at kung ano ang dapat i-consider. So, thank you very much, Sir Oliver. Partner? Yes, partner. Sir, we, we are happy that uh, you are... No, that we are happy to be here with you this morning. At binungad mo po kami sa inyong kwento at knowledge na uh, talaga namang nakaka-inspired para sa mga tulad naming nagahangad na, na maging isang host tour guide at eventologist na kagaya niya sa future. Sabi nga ni Sir Oliver, patient lang. Makakamit din natin ang goal natin. Tsaka, uh, hindi, natin, hindi natin kailangan maging perfect. Basta may dedication lang tayo sa ginagawa natin. Makakamit natin yung gusto natin. And once again, thank you po, sir, for that very inspiring and eye-opening talk. Hope that our participants listen carefully and paid attention dahil ang lahat ng yun ay siguradong magagamit namin sa hinaharap. Again, hello participant. Don't forget to like and don't forget to like, follow and share ang page ni Sir Oliver na the events and tour by Ed. So, before we proceed to the second part of our program, let me here is a short video of event specialist, event specialist at events and tour by Oliver. Eto. Ayan, since na silayan na natin ang short video of event specialist at events and tour by Oliver, let us now proceed to the second part of our program, our mini game. 
Yes, the man, and I guess everyone is waiting talaga for our mini game partner. So, everyone, I hope you are all ready dahil ang ating prizes ay ready and ready na rin. So, to facilitate the game, may we call on Miss Joella, Miss Denise, and Miss Shira. So hello everyone, good morning, especially to our guest speaker and to our professor. So kung may pa icebreaker si Sir Oliver, meron din kami inihanda para sa inyo. So excited na ba kayong manalo ng lumalagap pak na 50,000 pesos? SD 50 pesos. So sinong gusto ng manalo diyan? Paris naman ang hand. Ayan, nakikita ko halos lahat naman, di ba, gustong manalo. Kaya bibilisan at gagalingan nyo dapat. So, mainihanda kaming game entitled Guess the Pick. So, obviously, magiging manguhula kayo for today's video. Now, paano nga ba laruin to? We are going to flash blurred images in the screen with jumbled letters that you will arrange for you to identify the pick. The pick. Don't worry guys because those images are easy to guess. And related talaga siya sa events. Kaya basic na basic to sa inyo. And for the mechanics of game, magbibigay kami ng 60 seconds for you to answer and arrange and answer. And the first person to pop up in the comment section with the right answer will be the winner and will receive cash prize and Lola Donisha Club. O diba? Pero tandaan nyo, once na nanalo na kayo, you are out of the game para mabigyan naman ng chance yung iba. Classmates, malinaw ba? Yeah. Yes po. Ayan. Kung handa na kayo, Shara and Denise, simulan nyo na. Ayan. Thank you so much, Due. Magandang, 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 magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Asian students, are you ready? Yes. Kung handa na talaga ang lahat. Isang heart reaction naman dyan. So, ayan, partner, mukhang handang-handa na talaga sila. Okay, reminder, no once na mapakita na namin ng picture, autom automatic start na ang game. So, ano pang iniintay natin? Ilabas na ang unang picture in 3, 2, 1. Here's the first picture. Ayan, partner, nakikita mo na ba ang tamang sagot? So, wala pa, partner. Sino kaya ang maswerteng mananalo ngayong araw na to? Tama ka dyan, partner. Sino nga ba talaga? Wala pa tayong nakikitang nagko-comment sa ating uh, comments okay. section. So, bilisan nyo para manalo kayo ngayong araw na to. Ayan, may nakikita na ako, partner. Uh, tatlo sila. O, oh, ayan. Ang dami na. Tama kaya ang sagot nila, partner. Alamin natin. Alamin natin, partner, kung sinong nanalo. Yes, tama dahil, ka dyan. Dahil ikaw ang maswerteng nanalo ngayong araw, congratulations, congratulations to Jan Janelle, Janelle Lamis. At ang tamang sagot ay food catering. Congratulations. So, let's proceed to the second picture. Mamaya. Oh, Ayan. Partner, may idea ka ba sa second picture na to? So, medyo mahirap, partner. Ayun, parang yung pagtingin niya mal malabo, no? <laughs> Sakat lang ka partner. Sige, <laughs> pauwi na tayo next slide. Ano ba yan, partner? Focus tayo dito dahil may nakita man na tayong tamang sagot. Wala pa, partner. Ay, wala Mukhang pa. hirap na hirap talaga ang ating mga um, manghuhula. Ayan. May nakikita na kaming tamang sagot. At sino nga ba siya? At ang tamang sagot ay walkways. Congratulations to Aliza Rivera. At dahil dyan, bibigyan ka namin ng isang Lola Donisha Club. And one, two, three. Very good, very good. Ayan, partner. Excited ka na bang malaman ang susunod na mananalo ngayong araw na to. Siyempre naman, partner, kaya sa mga hindi pa nakakasagot dyan, may chance pa kayong manalo dahil meron pa kaming natitira mga pictures. Kaya wag na nating patagalin pa. Here's the third picture. Ayan, partner, mukhang mahirap-hirap ito ah. May idea ka ba sa uh, third picture na to? Mukhang, mm -hmm. ayan. 
na talaga namang meron na rin akong nakikita at talagang ang bibilis nilang sumagot. Napakahusay partner, di ba? Huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa partner. I-reveal na natin ang nanalo. So, congratulations to John Lemuel Manyolas. Ay, sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry po, sorry po pala. Congratulations to Christine, Christine Joy Mendoza. At dahil dyan, bibigyan kita ng Lola Dunisha Club in 1, 2, 3. Very good, very good. Ayan, partner. Masyadong nagiinit na ang ang umagang ito. Masyado excited na ang ating mga participants para matapos at uh, sumunod sa fourth picture. So next, ilabas na ang ikaapat na picture. Ayan, partner, mukhang hindi ko ma ma maalaman kung anong sagot dito. Masyadong malabo, no? HM students, carry pa ba? Ayan, kayang-kaya na mga students. Sila pa ba? Ayan, may nagsagot na giveaway. Ang tanong, tama ba ang kanyang sagot? Partner? Congratulations to Maria Angeli Hikale. Dahil dyan, ang sagot ay giveaways. At bibigyan kita ng isang lola do ni Shia Clark. And one, two, three. Very good. So excited ka na ba? Sa mananalong sa susunod? Ayan, partner. Huwag na nating uh, patagalin pa dahil nasa huli na tayong picture. At ilan na... Uh, at ngayon, ilabas na ang huling litrato. Ayan, partner, mukhang mahaba-haba ito ang ating picture. May hirapan ata mga HM students. Tama ba ako? Kayang-kaya yan, partner. Sila pa ba? Okay. Ay, wala pang nagko-comment. Ayan, may nakita na ako. So, Thank ayan. Congratulations to John Lemuel Manyola. At dahil ang tamang sagot ay Sage Decorations. Congratulations at bibigyan ko kayo ng isang Lola Dunisha Club in 1, 2, 3. Very good, very good. So dito na natatapos ang aming palaro. Congratulations to all the winners and sana nag-enjoy kayo. Back to you guys. Ayan, thank you Miss Joanna Laiva, Miss Dennis Letubio, and Miss Shaira B for facilitating the game. And congratulations to all the winners. We will contact you after the webinar for the details of your GCash account. Congratulations winners. Kitang kita naman ang saya ng ating mga participants, lalo na namang winner, di ba partner? So now let's proceed to the third part of our event. The question and answer. So in this part, we prepared some questions that are from the participants that are also here at the webinar. And those questions will be answered by our today's guest, Mr. Oliver Aluse. At tulad nga ng sinabi namin kanina, everyone is allowed or can share their learnings about the topic. To start our talk show, let's now call on again Mr. Oliver Aluse. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him... Again, a virtual round of applause. Hello, sir. Good morning, po. Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning, sir. Yan, ayan, sir. Um, kamusta naman po ang inyong holidays nitong nakaraang Christmas? Well, to tell you honestly, Shampere, holiday season is a peak season when it comes to events. So, yun, uh, fortunately and uh, grateful na kung saan din sa events team as an events uh, manager, event planner. So, we uh, had, I think, uh, seven, seven events. Last December, so mataas na siya compared to sa mga previous months. And, uh, yun. <laughs> so, since, sir, naging busy po kayo um, 
Ask ko lang po kung paano po kayo nag-celebrate ng Christmas and New Year with your family. Meron po ba kayong family reunion na kayo din po ang nag-celebrating host? Ah uh, yes, yes, we can take we conducted a uh, reunion wherein uh different clans are uh, were invited. So uh ako yung nag-celebrating organizer at the same time uh their host for that uh, specific uh, reunion. So, okay naman, masaya. So, yearly namin, ano, ano, it's an annual event. Kaya, hindi ko dapat na-miss. Ayan, sir, we are happy to hear from you, sir, na na-celebrate nyo ng masaya yung vacation. At sana po ay more, more, more events pa ang dumating sa inyo. So, sir, let's now move on po to our question and answer. So since alam namin na ito yung pinakahihintay ng lahat dahil um, mas madadagdagan yung learnings nila. So our first question, sir, uh, have you ever dealt with a difficult client? And in what ways they were difficult and how did you handle the situation? Well, first, uh, before I answer that question, I'd like to tell everybody na uh, Miss Angela, or I think, uh, I think this question is uh, really let's say impromptu okay so i would like to answer it uh, after you you ask me for that specific type of uh, question so gusto ko ano lang uh, kung ano talaga yung 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 knowledge or kung ano yung pwede kong i-share talaga sa inyo na not unscripted Okay, so for your question, siguro I think uh, naka-encounter na ako ng, ng uh, clients na kung saan nagkaroon kami ng, uh, I think, a little misunderstanding lang uh, when we are on our planning stage pa lang. Ayan, so siguro si client, sabi ko nga kanina, maka salamuha kayo ng different uh, characters, different types of clients uh, or guests or co-suppliers. So for that specific uh, uh, na pangyayari, so yun, uh, onset of the planning, syempre as an event uh, manager or event event planner, so you are the one to uh, suggest different kinds of uh, aspects or kung yung mga pwedeng uh, ibigay mong uh, suggestions para sa ikakaganda ng, ng event for that specific type of event. For example, sa wedding. So, so yun, nagkaroon lang kami ng cutting miscommunication na in the end of the day naman, so habang uh, on the process of planning, so na-realize niya na ay tama ka pala Sir Oliver. So, yun, parang nangyari nun ay just to be a uh, patient. Yung siya sabi kanina. So, wag mong uh, pangunahan ang client. So, again, syempre, customer, customer yan, <laughs> client mo yan. So, bossing mo yan, so sila yung susunod. So, the client is a bit, uh, siguro, let's say, strict. Strict to siya when it comes to mga detailing, and all. So, yun na, nagkaroon lang kami ng mis, uh, little misunderstanding then when it comes to planning. So, again, patient is important. So, yun, nang nangyayari, uh, ako pa din yun na lang kasi na-realize na tama pala ako. Yes, sir. Use lots of kindness po talaga, di ba, sa mga ganang situation. Yes, that's right. Kahirap. Yes, kahit gano'n po kahirap, uh, ka-difficult yung clients natin kasi gano'n naman po sa field natin. So, dami nating mga kasalimuhang tao. Yun po, di po makawala pa natin yung mga guests na minsan sobrang babaw ng pasensya. Yun po, sir. So, for our next question, sir. Sir, have you experienced being the event manager at the same time host of the event? Mostly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mostly, yes. Uh, sa package kasi namin sa ATO, so meron kaming... Uh, host and uh, coordination package. So, automatically, uh, I'm the event uh, 
manager, the event coordinator, and at the same time, I'm the reception uh, host. So, I uh, would like to share lang if ever sa mga uh, future uh, professional uh, host natin, malaking advantage po natin if we are uh, entering din or we are planning to be an event manager. Kasi ako, nag-start ako as an events host. So, nakas- nak- nakasalamuha ako different kinds of uh, event manager. So, dun ko na laman kung ano nga ba, ano pa dapat, ano pa yung mga pagkukulang. Kasi syempre, in every event, ma-realize mo, ba- bakit ganito si ano, si ganyan, si ganito, si ganyan. Sa sarili mo lang. Kung baga para sa akin, nung pinasa ko na yung event uh, management as an event planner and event manager, yung mga pagkukulang nila, so, pinunan ko. So, when it comes to program, naging madali na sa akin. So, uh, with the help with my staff, with the help ng mga coordinators ko, na alam na nila yung, yung mga gusto ko. So, sila na yung gumagawa. So, sila na yung nag implement ng mga, mga responsibilities and duties na supposedly ay gagawin ko as event manager. So yun, parang na, na-inform ko na sila. So ito yung ginagawa ko kung ako event manager. So ako, host ako, nito lang ako. So kayo muna ang uh, maging event manager for that specific kind of event. So parang ano lang, uh, magaan lang when you are the event host and at the same time event manager. Para smooth lang yung magiging flow of the program. That's all. Yes, sir. Nakaka-proud naman po kasi kung isipin nga po, uh, bukod sa ikaw na po yung event manager is ikaw pa rin po yung, yung, yung host ng event na yun. Pero thankful po kasi, yun nga po, may mga team kayo na willing to to work talaga. Yan po. So, sir, our uh, next question po will be asked by my partner, Miss Eliza Rivera. Partner? Ayan, sir. So, napaka-flexible niyo po dahil hindi lang po kayo host at hindi lang po kayo event coordinator. So, dadako naman po tayo ngayon sa buhay pagiging tour guide po. So, sir, hindi po, since kayo po ay isang tour guide, hindi po ba kayo napapagod sa pag, um, pag-tour po sa mga ating turista? Ganon po, sir. Well, uh, to check, uh, if ever, uh, mga padpad kayo sa Instagram account ko. Pag mo check niyo yung feed ko, lahat yung nature creeping. I am a traveler. So, I love nature. So, bago po man ako mapunta sa tour guiding, uh, love ko na mag-explore. So, ang dami ko nang napuntahan na mga tourist destination kasi gusto ko local mong na eh. So, bago ko puntahan yung ibang mga places outside our uh, municipality. So, dito muna sa amin, sa Pagpilao. Siguro, I think, more than 20 river falls na puntahan ko na. So, na lumalakad ako ng mga almost uh, hour, maximum na yung five hours trekking. So, yun. Aside doon sa mga ilog, sa mga dagat, I love uh, hanging out at the beach. So, mahilig ako sa dagat. So, island uh, island hopping. Yan, mga ganyan. So, for me, as a local tour guide dito sa aming bayan, so, para siyang, hindi ko masabi na parang work. Kasi sabi ko parang, if ever gusto mo naman yung ginagawa mo, yung passion, saka skill, madadala yan eh. Kung maga, it will uh parang dumadaloy lang yan sa 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 desire mo kung gusto mo yung isang bagay na parang you will not go for the money so parang for just for the experience para at least uh sa sarili mo parang 
need ko din to. Parang ganun. Parang gusto ko rin to. Hobby ko din to. Kaya sabi ko ko before kanina, di ba? Yung mga nag-organize ng mga party-party. Hilig niyo mga ganun. Malay niyo maging uh, profes- professional na, niyo na rin yan. So, uh, natrabaho ka while enjoying. So, yun yung maganda doon. So, hindi naman ako nagkaroon na uh, struggles sa local tour guiding kasi yun nga, I am a professional host. So, nag-research lang ako. And then, ano nga ba yung mga yung mga need for a uh, tour guiding. So, yun, wala mong problema kasi sabi ko kanina, research na research lang. So, panood ka lang ng mga sa mga YouTube and all. Tapos, yun, you will go through. So, yun, uh, masaya mag-tour guide. Lalo na kasulmukan ng mga iba't iba klase ng tao. Same din naman yun as event. So, ang pinagkaiba lang dito is uh, you showcase your uh, town's uh, hidden uh, places or beautiful places or tourist destinations. That's it. Thank you, sir. We're happy to hear that. And I hope po, sir, na ma-experience ko din po yung ginagawa niyo. And sana din po ay Maturn niyo din po ako in the future. Ah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ayan, mukhang napakadami natin natutunan lahat na binigahagi ni Sir ngayon. Kaya naman ay let's hear the learnings or insight of some of our participants about sa naging usapan natin kanina with our speaker. Yes, partner. So, Anyone from our participants who want to share their insight or learnings about the topic? Um, Wala ba? Chara. Sige nga, manawag ng side partner. <laughs> Sige, partner, mukhang hindi pa... Mukhang kinakabahan ng lahat, partner. Baha, gusto ata uli ng Gcash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sige. Tawag tayo. Sige nga, how about Miss Angelicada? Yun, tumaas siya. <laughs> okay? Miss Angelicada? Nandiyan po ba si Miss Angelicada? Tanggal ang mga. Sabi may patanggal ng ano, patanggal ng share screen. Ay. Ayan. So good morning po Sir Oliver. Thank you po. Thank you po for a fruitful um presentation po about event manager. So, sa totoo lang po, ang dami po namin natutunan on, on how to organize an event and masasabi ko po na talagang importante ang ano ang event details sa pagbuo po ng event para kahit po sa gabutil na in, sa gabutil na mga kailangan mga suppliers, ganun kailangan po ba ay talagang yung mga kalidad at talagang high quality po yung kukunin natin. Tsaka po sa mga bubu ina tsaka sa mga budget po. Tapos, pwede po bang, kung, pwede po bang magtanong? Ay, yes. So, walang problema. <laughs> ay, ang tanong ko po ay about sa pagiging tour guide niyo po. Kung ano po ba yung pinaka-challenging yung na-experience about being a tour guide at tsaka kung paano niyo po na-solutionan po ninyo yun. Yun lang. A siguro challenge po for, uh, as challenge, as, uh, uh, tour guide siguro uh, based on my personal experience before so meron kasi kaming uh, tour package na uh pinopromote online sa Facebook so makita yun ng mga mga possible clients natin sa iba't ibang lugar so siguro to be specific so i will share this with you na lang so meron kaming instance na 
Uh, may mga bisita kami from different places kasi uh, if ever familiar kayo, meron tayong mga tour package na mga mga uh, let's say mga joiner. So, meron mga solo traveler, meron mga jowa, couple, meron mga tropa, apart, or family. So, tour package siya. So, for example, sa isang van, maximum siya ng uh, 14 packs. So, dapat ma mapuno mo yung 14 packs na yun. So, sa pag-travel pa lang, yung, yung aming uh, land travel, yung aming yung sasakyan, yung mag-start, and then dapat uh, from there, so, dapat lahat ng uh, mga kasama, so since, di ba, iba-iba sila, may, may soloist, may by couple, may family. So, yun, uh, you need to engage sa lahat ng mga, mga guests mo. So, uh, para at least lahat ng mga bisita or lahat ng mga guests mo ay makapag-communicate uh, well sa lahat ng mga, mga co-guests co, uh, nila na kung saan uh, all throughout the day na magkakasama sila is magaan yung kanilang uh, pakikisama o pakitungo sa lahat. So, yun yun, may mga difficulties, may mga times na may mga guests kami na stubborn, may, may, may mga may mga uh, let's say mga introvert, yung mga hindi sila nakipaghalubilo, hindi sila socially uh, uh, let's say, hindi sila talaga marunong makihalubilo. May mga ganun. So, hindi namin naman i-insist na may pag engage pa with other guests so need to be uh, considerate with their with their feelings so yun lang uh, at least uh, as a tour guide and uh, event organizer for that so kailangan maging uh, considerate ka sa sa feeling ng bawat guests mo para at least maging magaan yung pakitungo mo sa kanila Thank you po, sir. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Kada. Sino pa kaya sa ating mga participants ang nais nice magtanong at mag-share ng knowledge? Hmm. Parang, parang nangungusap ang mga mata ni Janelle, partner. Parang, parang sinasabi sa akin na gusto daw niyang mag-share at ng learnings niya about the topic. So, may we call on Janelle? Um, good morning. Hello, Miss Janelle. Nakamute ka po. Okay. Uh, Janelle, excuse me po. Nakamute ka po, Miss Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recording lang ano. <laughs> ah, sige. Walaan ko na may interpreter yung sign language. <laughs> Ayan, sa wakas, Miss Janelle. Naririnig ka na. Nawala ka na. Ayan, Miss Janelle. Naririnig ka na. Hello, Miss Janelle. Parang nawala ng connection si Miss Janelle. Ayan, ulit si Miss Janelle. From the top. From the top. Um, good morning, everyone. Especially to Sir Oliver po. I am Janelle Amis. And according to your previous presentation po, um, you have a lot of event management experience. And um, ano po, during the period when the hosting are not allowed po due to pandemic, we still discover a possible revenue by developing a small business and it's merely probe how resourceful, how resourceful, resourceful, how resourceful you are 
that really needs to be in the characteristic of being an event organizer. And ano po, also, we've learned a lot starting with your experience at, as a host since your high school. The informative talk you give about the essential qualities and abilities of a successful event organizer. And we'll make sure we implement what we've learned to become as successful as you are now, sir. Thank you po. Ayan, nakakatuwa na yung pipa na napakaraming natutunan ng ating mga participants sa mga kasagot na binahagi ni, na ating speaker kanina. Kaya naman, thank you to our guest, Mr. Lucin, answering all our questions. At talaga namang sobrang laki ng maitutulong ng lahat ng yan sa amin sa future. Partner? Yes, partner. Tama ka dyan. At bukod sa, at bukod sa mga idea ay nahihanda rin tayo nito sa magiging posibleng problema na harapin natin in the future at kung paano natin may hahanda lahat ng yan. So, thank you, Miss Oliver and Lucin. Partner? Yan. Once again, thank you very much for to our speaker for the knowledge you have shared to us and also to our viewers for staying with us. To express our deepest gratitude to our speaker, let's now proceed to the awarding of our Certificate of Appreciation. But first, let me read the content. This certificate is hereby given to Mr. Oliver Lucy for giving his knowledge effort and time as a resource person for the for the spotlight online conversation with industry professionals entitled etana a glimpse in the world of work of an eventologist host and tour guide given this certain day of january 2023 by a virtual platform signed by mr jeremiah alioso and miss angela may abel so here is miss pamela gonzaga to take a picture of you sir with your certificate once again thank, thank you sir oliver Okay, uh, we want to take this opportunity to capture this special moment with our speaker. So we encourage everyone to turn on your camera as Miss Pamela Gonzaga will take a screenshot. So smile everyone. Smile. Okay na? One, two, three. Yan. Okay na, Miss Pamela. Thank you very much. So, Again. Again, just a reminder, you can help making our future webinar better by answering the evaluation or the post-webinar assessment. The link will be posted at the end of the webinar in the chat box here in Zoom. Meet. So before we move on to the acknowledgement to all the committee, just a little icebreaker. Let's witness the intermission number of Mr. John Paul Rodriguez. Let's give him a virtual applause. <laughs> Sandal mo sana ang ulo mo sa
All right. Pag-ibig ng voice, Mr. John Po. Salamat sa iyong pagbabahagi ng iyong talento sa isang napakagandang amitin aming napakinggan. Yes naman, kami nagagalak sa talentong binahagi mo sa amin. So, thank you so much, John Paul. To acknowledge all the committee that put efforts to make this event possible, here is a short video clip for appreciation. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much, Sir Oliver, to share your story with us as it serves as our inspiration. At sa mga kapwa namin, Asian student na nandito ngayon, lagit lagi nating tandaan na may pagsubok man, laban lang. Pada yun. So to formally end our program, may we call on our Professor Jeremiah Alyosa for closing remarks. Ayan, good morning everyone. Good morning, uh, Sir Oliver. Good Ayan, morning. So, um, it's nice to see you virtually and for the information of everyone, uh, we've had um, various projects that are na samahan namin ni Sir Oliver and um, coming from a point of view of a uh, co-supplier, it's, it's, it's nice and, and, and refreshing to see you on a different world 
because um for for various occasions yung uh, pinagsamahan natin with several projects i've had you as um a choreographer for many shows and and projects i've had with with saint Anne college so it's nice to um to look back on that humble beginning and um looking on to the various um posts that you've had natutuwa ako that you are now really professionalizing the events industry by being um, an event coordinator, a host, and a tour guide. So really, that's um, that's something na parang nakakatuwa that uh, I am seeing you grow as a person. And even though, that as you have mentioned, that um, you are an undergraduate, hindi naman yon sa ikakamenos mo only because you failed to finish your college course. Because... Um, our situation are different from one another. And maybe if you are unable to do so, maybe um, God has a different plan for you to excel on this field. And um, that is why this um, platform or this event has truly validated the, the, the gift that um, God has given you and you are destined to do so. And um, my students are able to learn a thing or two from the more than one hour of sharing um, on this The Spotlight uh, webinar series entitled A Glimpse on the World of Work of Eventologist, um, Host, and Tour Guide. So maraming maraming salamat for gracing our event and for accepting our invitation. I am truly honored and coming from the bottom of my heart. Molang hagang pasasalamat, Oliver. And I look forward to seeing you again in person and doing uh, yet another collaboration with you very soon. So thank you very much. And to all of my students, um, thank you so much for mounting this successful hybrid event. I know that you have all... Um, past the NC3 events management certification, but that, the, I mean, the learning does not stop there. And we are actually um, almost ending the semester next week because next week is actually the finals week. But then again, the, the learning never stops there. And the reason why we mount this event is for the students to be able to execute the, or put into test the theories that I have shared in, in the classroom and for them to really feel that this is how we do events, diba, Sir Oliver? And yes. I am very sure that in the very near future, they will be able to experience more challenges, more opportunities because that's how we do events. So thank you very much. So in closing, I, um, I am giving... A warm round of applause for all of my students. Uh, I have students here in Team Gumbors and also the students na nasa bahay. Thank you very much for all of your participation. Without um the concerted effort of everyone, this event would not have been made possible. So maraming maraming salamat. And I wish you good luck on your future endeavors, Sir Oliver, on your events and tours. And uh, for my students here, um, congratulations and good luck on your future career as possibly the next movers and shakers of the events industry. Thank you very much and good morning. Ayan, thank you so much to our ever supportive advisor, Professor Jeremiah Oyoso. Once again, we give our deepest gratitude to you for joining us here today. Um, also, thank you for to our um speaker for today, me, Mr. Oliver L. Luce at sa ating mga kapwa third year students. Congratulations and thank you all for organizing the event. So once again, for the last time, I'm Eliza Rivera. And I am Irish Marinal of Janela. Now signing off. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the day. And for the last time, mabuhay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Again, just a reminder, everyone, don't forget to answer our evaluation form as it helps us as at as at the, as it helps us making our future webinar better. Thank you, everyone.
Thank you. Thank you.